Hello everyone, in this video we're going to discuss the paper Clippo, Image and Language Understanding from Pixels Only, which is a paper from Google Research. Multimodal models are becoming increasingly effective. However, multimodal models still often consist of modality-specific pieces and training procedures. For example, Clip trains independent text and image towers via contrast of loss. The authors of this paper present a pure pixel-based model to perform image, text, and multimodal tasks using a single encoder. The model is trained with contrast of loss only and is called Clip Pixels Only, or Clippo. The authors show that Clippo performs image-based tasks such as retrieval and zero-shot image classification almost as well as Clip-style models, with half the number of parameters and no text-specific tower or embedding. They also train their model jointly via image text contrastive learning and next sentence contrastive learning and show it can perform well on natural language understanding tasks without any word level loss, so no language modeling or masked language modeling, outperforming pixel-based prior work. Clippo is shown to obtain good accuracy on visual question answering by rendering the question and image together. Finally, Clippo achieves a strong performance on multilingual, multimodal retrieval without modifications as it does not require a language tokenizer. This overview figure explains the idea behind Clippo by highlighting its differences from Clip. Clip trains separate image and text encoders, each with a modality-specific preprocessing and embedding, on image alternative text or all text pairs with a contrastive objective. Alternative text is text on web pages that serves as a substitute to non-text content. Clippo, as shown on the right, trains a pure pixel-based model with equivalent capabilities by rendering the alt text as an image, encoding the resulting image pair using a shared vision encoder in two separate forward passes, and then applying the same training objective as Clip. The authors performed several experiments to compare the performance of Clip and Clippo, as well as one tower Clip. One tower Clip can be thought of as an intermediate step between Clip and Clippo. It is not entirely pixel-based, as the alt text is not rendered as images, but rather has text-specific preprocessing and embedding. In that sense, it is like Clip. On the other hand, one tower Clip is a one tower model where the model parameters beyond the embeddings are shared between image and text. And in that sense, it is similar to Clippo. One tower Clip has significantly less parameters than Clip, while Clippo has less than half the parameters of Clip. This table shows results on some vision and vision language tasks. We see a column listing the baseline models and another column showing the training data set. So let's discuss the training setup, data sets, and the main baseline models used throughout the paper. The WebLI data set consists of 10 million images to 12 billion alternative texts in 109 languages. For their English models, the authors use Google Cloud Platform Translation API to translate non-English alternative text. To train the model, a batch size of 10,240 is used, with the contrast of loss calculated across the whole batch. Training takes place for 250,000 steps. Next is C4, or Colossal Clean Coiled Corpus, which is a text-only dataset used by randomly sampling pairs of consecutive sentences for text-text co-training. The authors also experiment with a multi-language text dataset WMT19 to use pairs of sentences in different languages for text-text co-training. The bottom figures show two examples of how this is performed in Clippo, with centered pairs rendered on separate images. This is done for next sentence prediction and back translated pairs. For co-training, the authors modify the training setup such that the text-text data is either 50% or 25% of samples in a batch, while fixing the batch size but training for longer. For example, training time is twice as long in the case of 50% text-text data. In this way, the model sees the same number of image alternative text pairs as a model without text-text co-training. As for the baseline models in the table, Clipstar refers to the author's Clip-style two-tower model. For both baselines, a T5EN sentence piece tokenizer and a sequence length of 196 are used. The sequence length is used to match the sequence length based on a 16x16 16 16 patch or visual text token in the 224 pixel images used in Clippo. In the table, we see the zero-shot classification accuracy as well as the 10-shot accuracy on ImageNet 
shown in the first two columns of results. We also see recall for cross-modal retrieval on MS Coco and Flickr 30K. These are shown in columns 3 and 4, 5 and 6 of the results respectively. From the table, we see that Clippo and One Tower Clip perform slightly worse than the Clipstar baseline, despite Clippo having less than half the number of parameters of Clip. We also see how text text code training leads to a drop in performance on some tasks, but as, I, but as we will see later, the text text code training improves language understanding results. These two figures show the results of experiments on visual question answering tasks evaluated on the VQA V2 benchmark. The figure on the left shows how the VQA model is constructed using Clippo's one tower pixel based model, with a question rendered at the top of the image and the answer is predicted as the most likely answer from the training set. The last layer is replaced with a randomly initialized layer with the corresponding number of outputs, and fine tuning is performed on the VQA V2 data. On the right, we see the performance comparison with different baselines on the test def set. The top three sections of the figure show categories of questions, and the fourth section shows the overall VQA V2 score. The fifth section shows the overall score using higher resolution images at 384 pixels instead of 224 pixels. Clippo outperforms Clipstar and One Tower Clip. Clippo matches other baselines when using VIT Large 16 instead of VIT Base 16. This is done to match the number of parameters in these baselines. As an example, Clippo Large 16 matches meter which combines clip and bird base backbones. Pythia and MCAN are other clip-based VQA system that Clippo outperforms. Clippo also outperforms other models using different objectives such as grounded mask language modeling and text image matching with a much simpler pre-training strategy using a contrastive objective. For example, VILT. Here we see language understanding results for Clippo compared to different baselines. Language understanding is evaluated on the GLUE benchmark dev set for several language tasks, mostly using accuracy as a metric. The following categories are used for evaluation. Natural language inference, sentiment analysis reported as F1 or Spearman correlation, sentence similarity, and linguistic acceptability reported as Matthews correlation. The average of all tasks is shown in the last column. For these experiments, transfer learning is performed by attaching a two-hidden layer multilayer perceptron with 768 units to the representations and following the BERT fine-tuning protocol. The first section of the table shows language models. The top performer for this task is the BERT base trained on Wikipedia and Book Corpus. Pixel is a visual text model based on a mask autoencoder. In this category, Clippo is similar to YLSTM plus attention, plus Elmo. The next category is clip style models with Clippo and One Tower Clip outperforming Clip's image and text encoders. As expected, variations of Clippo with text text code training at 25% as well as full training on C4 improve the glue score significantly with Clippo outperforming Pixel. Finally, for a Clippo large 16 with C4 sentence pair code training, the performance improves, but does not match the BERT base's performance. The bottom table shows results investigating the effect of different contrastive text-text co-training objectives. The authors considered next sentence prediction from C4, as well as parallel translated pairs from different languages, and English back translated pairs from the WMT19 dataset. This table shows the best objective is next sentence prediction. In the top panel here, we see an analysis of Clippo's performance in multilingual vision language understanding. This is interesting since the use of visual text allows bypassing language tokenizers, which pose several challenges in multilingual settings. The leftmost figure compares the efficiency of Clippo to one tower clip based on three different English and multilingual tokenizers trained on different datasets, including WebLI. Here, 
The efficiency is defined as producing shorter tokens for over 75% of the examples. On the x-axis is the tokenizer used by one tower clip, whereas the y-axis is the fraction of languages for which Clippo is more efficient. Note that Clippo's tokens are based on 16 by 16 image patches, which are not specific to a particular dataset or language. This is an advantage for Clippo. This analysis is for 20,000 samples from 104 languages in C4 data, and we see that Clippo is more efficient than all other tokenizers. The three figures on the right show zero-shot retrieval performance on the cross-modal 3600 dataset. This dataset contains 3600 images, which are human annotated in 36 languages. In the middle figures, the y-axis is recall, average across all languages, and the x-axis is the different tokenizers used for one tower clip. Clippo's performance is shown by the black dashed horizontal line, which mostly matches or exceeds one tower clip. The rightmost figure shows the percentage of languages for which Clippo performs better, which is greater than 0.5 except for the MT5 tokenizer. In the bottom panels, we see modality gap analysis. We add a link to the modality gap paper in the description below. Basically, a modality gap occurs in click style models where the embedding space contains two distinct clusters, each containing points from one of the two modalities. This is demonstrated in the clip baseline in the leftmost figure, where the orange dots show alternative text embeddings and the blue dots show embeddings for images from the WebLI dataset. We see a similar trend in Clippo in the middle figure, although the modality gap is smaller for Clippo. In the rightmost figure, we see the modality gap decreases significantly for the Clippo model, which is co-trained on 25% C4 text text data. This concludes our discussion. Thank you for watching.